Nice move. Give me it again. Give me again. Join in. Join in. Now see him there where he disappeared. With Chris. Alright, again. Okay. Okay. No, once you have your numbers, yes. Morning, Sati. Any foreigners running here? Any foreigners? Welcome to the 2018 edition of the OWTU 20K run as we start Labor Day 2018. On behalf of the President General of the Oil Free Workers Trade Union, members of the General Council, Executive Officers, and all the soldiers of the Blue Shirt Army, we welcome you here this morning. We are better ready in a while to start. We want to welcome the members of Trinidad and Tobago Police Service. We want to welcome the Trinidad and Tobago Red Cross Society South Division Officers, the Trinidad and Tobago Fire Service, Ambulance and their officers. And most of all, we want to welcome all the runners, especially those who are from Venezuela. We welcome you this morning. 
as we are about to get on to the road with our annual 20K. Just to remind you that when we start, we will be running left Abdullah Prima Mineral Road, that's through Maribo. We go along the Kokia roundabout and we head down the bypass. We will be going up the hill that's alongside um, the hardware that hardware down at the cross crossing roundabout. We're going through Duncan Village. We are going through Bamboo Village, through Laramain Village, and exit by uh, TJ Avenue, you call it long ago, Tower Street. And we are heading on the new highway, which is going to be very entertained by each and every one of you because it's a very, very smooth surface this morning. And we will be heading to the finish line in Faisabad. We have water stations along, so there is no problem with your water. Just want to remind each and every one that you are to maintain the left hand side of the road throughout the, the race please stay on the left hand side of the road for your own safety also at this time all your numbers should be pinned in front of you and remember at the finish line uh, the, the portion below where you have signed your name your organization, your age will be torn off by the officials at the finish line. Once again, I say welcome, welcome to each and every one. And if you don't hear this again, I want to say it here. Prize given for this event will be held on Saturday, 14 July, 5 p.m., right upstairs in the hall. So we will be inviting all winners this morning to our prize given Saturday, 14th July, 5 p.m. upstairs in the hall. So very shortly again, you will have the national anthem, the prayer, the welcome, and the official start. Once again, we just like to inform you, the runners will be running before the walkers. The runners will go to the line before the walkers. Uh, we send the runners and. Uh, couple minutes after the walkers. Again, to all walkers this morning, there are going to be officials on the road looking at you. We have had too many complaints over the years about walkers running. This morning, you will be identified, and if you are caught running, well, the consequence is yours. Please avoid running. Walkers, it's a walking event. Thanks. Also remember when we get down to Faisabad this morning, we are going to be meeting with the 5K who, are, who will be starting around 6 and they are also going to the finish line. So runners are going to be down, uh, meeting down most likely at pa a certain part, the 5K runners. And again this morning when we are through with our 20K run and 5K, we are going to be having uh, the march. And in the afternoon, the cultural show. So once again, a happy for Labor Day to each and every one, 2018, as we get it ready to start. Well, we just, we, we just want to do the event. We don't want to be for show walkers or nothing. Mm -hmm. Call, we talk Mr. Jennifer, can you please report right. to the mic, Sister so Jennifer? We just want to finish Assistant the General Secretary of the Union, can you please uh, report to the mic now? Okay, then. No problem. Okay. 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 Down at the second street light. So when you are called to the starting line, you'll be going down, not by where the banner is, but you are going down to the second street light so that we can have a full official 20K run here this morning. All right, so all runners and walkers note, when you are asked to go to the start line, you'll be going down to the second street light. The starting line is on the road there already. They look good. We talk already? They just look good now? Yeah. Yeah. Let me get your number. The number is 316165. No boy. You, but your number is 414. What's your number here? Your people call you or what? And the cell number is 316165. Alright then. So, so, so I want you to... Um, you can expect some calls then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The world will be calling you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> and you will be calling me too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Just, just send it to that phone number for me. This is your work. I send it to that phone number. The Republic of Trinidad and Tobago to be played by the DJ. So let us all stand to attention and that will be followed by a prayer. in our 2018-20K event uh, with our celebration of 2018 Labor Day. Brothers and sisters, uh, athletes, we want to thank you for your participation this morning. Without you, we couldn't have this race this morning. So we want to thank you for your participation and for you and your, your support and your courage to be out here this morning at this time. We have wonderful weather. So we know you would enjoy the run this morning. So before we go into other matters, on behalf of the Oilfield Workers Trade Union, our President General, our General Council, again we want to thank you for your participation this morning. We want to just say a word of prayer and we invite the Assistant General Secretary of the OWTU to do that for us this morning. Welcome Jennifer Charles, comrade. A pleasant good morning each and everyone. Can we assume a position of prayer, please? Father, we come before you this morning. We thank you for rising each and every one. Father, you know the reason, the purpose why we are out here, Lord. Father, I ask you to bless each and every athlete that is participating here today. Give them guidance and protection on their way, Lord. We thank you for those that are still on their way. We thank you for the Oilfield Workers Trade Union, we thank you for the Executive, the General Council, each and every member. We thank you for each and every family, each and every home that was left here behind. We ask you to guide and protect each and every one there, Lord. And as we go through this day, Lord, we ask you for your blessings. Bless each and every one in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. These and all other mercies, we thank you. In no other name, but in Jesus' almighty name, amen. Thank you very much, Sister Jennifer. All right, all workers, runners to the line. This morning, want to welcome the Mocha Jumbies, led by Brother Junior Bissnat. This is their 20th year working from San Fernando to Faisabad. I think we need to put our hands together and give them a lot of people to work as we welcome them and they are getting ready to start. So runners going to the line, runners going to the line, walkers will follow. Again, I remind you that when we leave here, we are turning left at the end of this street. We are running through Monupo. Please, we are going back to the, la the, the next light, not this, not where the banner mount staff is. Keep going down. Yes, 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 yes,
Abla is Pano? Abla is Pano? Abla. Hola, bienvenidos a la carrera. Bien, de Venezuela. ¿Eh? I got cut off his head. Oh gosh. You gotta go picture them on. Okay, one minute. We'll try that too. <laughs> Make sure you show it. All right. <laughs> hey, paparazzi in the shot. <laughs> paparazzi. Yeah. Oh. Here goes the walkers now. A small <laughs> All right. Good morning to everyone. Hi, yeah. Right. This year, making it 20 years, the Kai Soka Uncle Jumbi is walking from San Fernando to Faisalabad. 20 years. What a big up for them, sir. Hi, Rick. Happy birthday. Happy 20th. Right. The smallest one in a line. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, come. I know you can't remember me. I told me to me in school. My son is one of them. Seven days, yeah. What year are you looking at? Uh, 86. Uh, 86? Yeah, right. All right. I can't remember any boy at all. <laughs> so why you leave for me? <laughs> you're, still looking, you're still looking good for your age, boy. <laughs> Thank you. He look like he running, but Walker here, Walker. Huh? Boy! Hey, Tom Brown sauce, boy! Hey! Yeah, <laughs> 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 
Get from chanting, you know. If she, if she, if she, if she saw her, yeah. she would have seen that kid. Oh, here what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's a big distraction when you're running under pressure. And that thing is sucking in. Mm. Look, Manny, Manny Ramzan boy, bare feet. <laughs> but, but it didn't look like he started up. Yeah, they used to just run a slow, slow thing. Yeah. You know that? Yeah. No, the diet yeah. changed now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we did not. 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 Oh. But, but. In the early days of the train, I don't know if you have one. 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 I was here before. That's when they ended up by the president. On the street away. Yeah. Already. This is the way from the shop. Something with, um, with the Indian artists from, from India now. You, you, you know, they have some in, in amateur boxing and things, they have some of the best now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. in, in, yeah? Yes, in, um, in the Commonwealth Games. Mm -hmm. yeah? mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In the Commonwealth Games, also. 
two Indian boxers beat Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Nigel. Yeah, the, the fella here yeah, used to be from Trinidad and Tobago. Yeah. Why is Trinidad and Tobago? Yeah, yeah. Link to the tail. Yeah. Long time they were only in for a half of the tail. No, but the workers still. Remember, this day we were in and, and they know you care. The workers then went to school and we were here too. There's a lady in the mix. Get them, girl! Hey! <laughs> a lady. <laughs> Myself. <laughs> that is her satisfaction. <laughs> no, she's timing herself to see how, yeah. beat how a, she's doing. Beat the previous mark. <laughs> yes, yes. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a little, a little ahead of the so man, 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 <laughs> they say the race is not for the swiftest. Yeah, yeah. Who could yeah, who could endure? It's for the smartest. I, 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 I follow up for tonight. Where did you start from? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, 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 uh, yeah. uh, um, Thomas. Thomas. Yeah. Uh, and, um, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. Uh, you're, you're talking about cheese. Cheese. Because it's Macintosh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. Macintosh and, and her fight when he was young. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Because it's tired, it's complete though. Because it's caught up with the Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know and put it in the line. <laughs> yeah. It's had a big headline of New York Times as my top walker. So I'm complaining about three minutes. Yeah. Oh, 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 inside the four and a half feet. Yeah, well, I, yeah, I yeah. saw the yeah, end. Yeah. 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 Because all coming through central there. Yeah. yeah. Where your camera, boy? So much. But, but they start some race down there already, you know. Where? Really? I, I have a diary, right? Did you check the diary? Yeah. When it was 6 o'clock, they said they started some race down there in half marathon or what have you. Yeah. So, so, so. For me, that was the children. Yeah. 
Ich habe mir die Kleine Oh, Oho, lang bei dir am Ding. Was ist denn mit Schuhen? Was war? My name is Nicholas Romani from Trinidad and Tobago Roadrunners Club. I came fourth this morning. How long have you been taking part in this event? This is my third year taking part in this event. Is this your best position? Yes, this is my best position. What about other competitions? What has been your high point? My high point, I would say, would be 5K. Would be 5K. Where and where? That would be like Costat. Costat 5K. Second female to cross the line. Yeah, my name is Elvis Stuna from Tobago. I'm running with RJ Richard Jones Racing. The race this morning was pretty okay. What position Came six overall. Fourth overall, my best placing ever in this race. Pedro Mora. What position you take? Position. Numero uno? Numero uno. Numero uno. Muset from Venezuela. Bueno, mi nombre es Pedro Mora, soy atleta de Venezuela y bueno, le damos gracias a Dios por permitirnos estar aquí y haber triunfado en esta carrera. Felicito a la organización de esta prueba por la ayuda prestada y espero que sigan así colaborando para el atletismo en Trinidad, el maratón y las pruebas de fondo cada día crezca. Muchas gracias y que sigan adelante y que Dios les bendiga. Número. Número Venezuelian Arte y C. Para acá. ¿Cómo es Venezuelian Second Part? ¿Cómo se llama Venezuelian Second Part? ¿Cómo much of you all take part in the race? ¿Cómo much are you all? ¿Cómo much of you all? ¿Cómo much are you all? ¿Cuántos años tengo? Yeah, yeah. How much? How much? One, two, three. Bueno, tengo muchos años corriendo desde, desde niño, a los 14 años. He estado en Juegos Olímpicos de Londres, tres campeonatos mundiales. He sido muchas veces campeón nacional en mi país y he ganado muchas competencias a nivel internacional en muchas partes del mundo donde Dios me ha permitido estar. ¿no? 
Y bueno, está mi, mi primera vez en Trinidad. Este, hace un mes corrí en Tobago, a Maratón Sea to Sea, donde fui champion en Full Marathon. Contento de estar aquí nuevamente. Gracias. Thank you. Gracias. Second, second. After, after. Nelson Sánchez. Ah. Mi nombre es Nelson Sánchez, eh, primera vez que vengo a correr en Trinidad Tobago. Eh, la carrera, muy buena organización, muy buena organización. Eh, bueno, llevo empezando a competir ya un año, año y medio, gracias a Dios. Este, muy, buen, muy, muy buen nivel eh, estoy agarrando. Mis entrenamientos han sido en Venezuela. Ahora seguirme preparando para venideras competencias. Este, bueno, estos eventos son muy importantes para, para nosotros los venezolanos salir a competir afuera en el extranjero y, oye, un segundo lugar estuvo muy bien en esta carrera. Gracias a Dios, 20 kilómetros, eh, no es mi prueba, pero bueno, poco a poco estamos mejorando. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Okay, morning, morning everyone. Um, my name is Kelvin Johnson of Trinidad to Big Runners Club. I came to her this morning the, the 20 key but the classic. So what country are you from originally? I'm from Guyana originally. You're based here now? Yeah, I'm based in Trinidad here. Yeah. So you, um, what is your best position in this event? Um, I won it a couple years. I came a couple of second places, third. I, I always in the top five since I've been bottle 20 key. Of your participation in the Caribbean, what has been your best position? Oh, well, um, I did um, a number of races in the Caribbean. Um, I did run Barbados, I did, I, I run uh, CARICOM 10K. I did a lot of races, and um, I'm always in the top 10 in most of the races in the Caribbean. I came third in TNT Marathon as well. I um, came fifth in UV Marathon one time. Um, last year I, I came um, second in third in um, C2C Half Marathon. So it was a good, uh, a good um, stunt to me so far in the Caribbean. Good morning, I'm Karen from the Society of Inherited Severe Blood Disorders. Today is World Sickle Cell Day and we have come to Faisabad to be part of the celebrations and also to march with our brothers in the oil field and other labor unions. We are all warriors of pain, so we are here today to help celebrate World Sickle Cell Day. Thank you very Thank you. 
Okay, I want to make it short and brief, right? My name is Peter Ragunanan. I live at La Cyber Road, Maraval. In town. Every time you go to the view of a race, I come and enter. For the sport of it. For the sport of running. Are you one of the oldest participants? I'm 50 something, I don't know. How old are you? 50 something. And you've been taking part in this event? Once they, once they have it, I'll come and enter if I could. You know what position you came? No. I just tried to get it. In the last event, what position you came? I think I do. I, I, I want something. I want something. No, in terms of placing, first, second, third, fifth. I think I came third. Okay. That's it. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. What I see. I go to, I just take part in the Special Olympics and um, I take part in most of the race and the challenge was um, how, I, how I born and thing and people who like me and thing run, then run, there are a lot of people like me who run and that call it a handicap but people don't really um, focus on that. Don't say nothing. So um, I I run in behalf of them. Okay. Yeah. Wonderful. You know, well, no, it was not it was not easy race. It was not easy yesterday. But I take my time and I pull through. The grace of God. How old are you and where you from? Um, I originally from Malala, but I live in um, Kuva. Yeah. Um, what is your best place in? Um, um, last time, can, can you remember often? Yeah, but um, I said I'll make a, a comeback today and try it out. 
when you're not running, yeah. what are you doing? Um, sometimes um, I help out. Um, I, s I look for a little work and thing, but I start collecting um, disability and thing. But um, I try to help myself sometimes, especially sponsors and thing, help my own sneakers and thing. You know? Okay, so you got kids? No. Okay, then. thank you very much. All right, no problem. Yeah, I'm going to 
I shoot killer! <laughs> This is the 28 in the front of the North Coast Grand Prix 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 Grand Prix
morning everybody. My name is Nan Lau. I used to be a conductor at PTSC. And in 1986, the now government came into office. They took away our cola and 10%, promising us that we wouldn't lose our job. Yet in 1989, they let go more than 5,000 workers. And due to the events of 1990, they hold their hand. And in 1993, they came out with a VSIP. They pay us our 10 percent, but the cola didn't. They didn't refund our cola. That is what I am seeking: my cola and my errors, which amounts to $26,000. And I need my money now. Well, upper, yeah, you could say that is it. We are waiting the first male and female walkers to come in and they are all from the area of coming. So we need to keep the applause of all the others and come in. A good boss? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's that? Comrade? And to meet them, and to meet them all right. Thank you. 
Have you seen before, runner? Yeah, yeah. One minute, one minute, one minute, one minute. She's looking like a cyclist. You make it, you make it. Another one, one minute, another one, one minute. Another one, one minute, one minute. Let's look at the style, let's look at the style. Francis, um, with the Point Fourteen Road Runners Club. My name is Brian Francis. I'm running with the Point Fourteen Road Runners Club. Um, I've been participating in the walking for over the past approximately ten years. All right. Um, I was introduced. To, I've been running before that. Before that, I've been running. I was introduced to the walking by Mr. Brian London. All right. And uh, 
And ever since, I've been doing very well, you know, coming second, third behind him. And uh, over the past four or five years, I've been um, coming first, second in this event. All right, today was a really nice walk. The condition was, was nice. And uh, by the grace of God, I came in first this morning. Go ahead, keep, keep talking. Are you from Faisabad? I see you talking about Brian Lund. No, I am from Sobo Labre, to be exact. Close enough. All right, and um, I run the Point Fourteen Roadrunners Club. Mm -hmm. And uh, as I said, I've been participating in the walk uh, for approximately ten years now. All right, and I've I've been doing better and better as the years go by. Uh, this morning, with the help of God, I was able to place first. All right, at the, the time 2:06:37. All right, I, I I did a better time last year. All right, um, but uh, there were some challenges this morning. I'm first at 2:06:37. Yeah. Yeah. So Brian London saw something in you. Oh, more or less, yes. <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay, uh, Brian London had been the walking champion. He has been the walking champion. Yes, we were from before, yeah. What are you talking about? Introduction. Hi, my name is Tessa Weeks. This is my second year in the Wood of the T20K walk. I, I exercise regularly. I'm in a boot camp, major pains boot camp. I exercise five days a week. Uh, Central 2014, I've been with them. So when you're not walking, what are you doing? Yeah, exercising and working out. And how do you eat your food? I eat every three hours. Starting with breakfast at six. Are you <laughs> very regular? Are you employed? Yes, with the Republic Bank. A teller? No. Uh, investment analyst. Wow, you're big in the dance. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Johnny Walker? Hello? What's here? What's here? Right here. What's Riley? Roy Riley. From Point Frontier Road Runners Club. 81 years of age. And counting. And counting. And this race is 80 years old. I am 81. So which means I'm one year older than the club. And you want to race the race. Have a king? Yeah. Nice. But um, I used to know you in Brooklyn. How did you arrive in Point Fontaine? Well, in Brooklyn days, I, I used to live in Marbella. But now I live in South Oakwood. So closer to Point. Okay. And you know, training on the road is easier 
and train on the track. Because you could train by yourself in the road and go for a long run, but in the track you have to be among the club. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so what's the next great event for you? Well, the next event will be Yui, Yui Step. Yui? Yeah, because I don't think the bankers on, on, on board again. Mm -hmm. When is that? I, I think it's sometime in November. November. Yeah. Yeah. What was your best place in all events thus far? Well, my age group, from 60 to 69, 70 to 79, and now I'm 80, I already proceed. Proceeding. Have you done any international events? Yes. I went to Miami, I, I did Miami half marathon. I did a 5K in Curacao. When they had the OECS in St. Vincent, I was there. Right? Mm -hmm. I went Barbados, I went Barbados about three times. I went Barbados about three times. Went to Tobago, my home, so many times in Tobago, I did right through. And the C2C they have now, I there all the time. Okay, thank you very much, Granny, which one? Hi, good morning. My name is Ian Thompson from the Trinidad and Tobago United Peace Foundation. We entered this walk this morning more or less to sensitize people of the importance of having peace in our country. Our country right now have been a runaway horse with regards to crime. We as a people, if we don't get together to do something about what's happening now, 
we will not have a good society for our children and for our grandchildren. Therefore, it is incumbent upon all of us to do something, do as much as we could do, advertise as much as we could advertise to ensure that we have a peaceful Trinidad and Tobago. Thank you. We will, you will find us in every nook and cranny throughout Trinidad and Tobago. We will be there. Just say the word and we will be there. Hi, good morning. Well, actually, we are a new group, but um, we've been living in Trinidad and Tobago all our lives. Given the situation presently, we decided to stop playing the blame game and stop pointing fingers. I believe that change begins with us, so we decided to make a stand for change, to empower the young people, to help those to rebuild communities, family lives, and so on. So look for us everywhere, like anything you see with peace, support, check us out on Facebook, be a part of this. Our numbers will be placed all over Trinidad and Tobago. Our email address, look for us, TNT United Peace Foundation, and we will be there. We're willing, we have open arms to everybody that is interested to make a difference in TNT. Support TNT. <laughs> well, so far this group is made up of a lot of um, pan groups, pan tents, singers, artists, a lot of people in the art form, um, media, media persons. It's, it's, it's for everybody, a normal person that just want to be a part. Even if you don't want to say a word, you just want to walk with us and, you know, encourage positiveness. Yes, that is us. Yes. Oh, okay, so we have um, Fusion Steel would be on board, Fun Claire would be on board, Colomo Kings, of course, you know, that's, that's Fusion Steel. All Skiffle Bunch, all, 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 all. All the Pantans throughout Trinidad and Tobago is on board so far. We've been getting numerous of calls and we're really, really excited to really start this project. It's an exciting one. <laughs> and we are excited to be a part of it. So we want everybody to come on board and support Peace in TNT. Of course, there's always a brighter tomorrow. We just always have to look at the positive in every negative. And I believe that, you know, Trinidad and Tobago isn't long gone or that far gone. It's not far gone. It's not the way or the country we knew it to be. But I believe that this is still one of the most beautiful places in the whole world. I would not change my nationality to go <laughs> nowhere. So I think we could fix it. We could fix it. Yeah, we could fix it. <laughs> Actually, no, if, if, if there is such a group, we welcome this group to be a part of our movement and also whatever they are doing, we want to be a part. Anything that is po positive and anything that is going to help the rebuilding of TNT and our youths. I would say, welcome us. We, 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 we come, we means no harm, we means no, we don't want any trouble. It's, it's not a, a, a group that is going to stand and protest. No, we want to find a solution. Whatever is the problem, I think we could fix it. Right? So we have a lot of people in our group that is willing to help and assist in any way, if it means coming to your home, talking to your parents, bringing you on board, meeting some artists, taking them to the studio, joining them into a pan theater. The sky is the limit. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
2018 Labor Day. Good morning to each and every one of you. And welcome, father of the trade union movement and arguably father of Trinidad and Tobago, Tuba Uriah Buzz Butler. Welcome, comrades. And this year we are going to do as we normally do perform our reslaying ceremony as we pay respect to. Those who had gone for the contribution that they would have made to labor for all of us. But before we do that, we want to open, as we normally do, with a word of prayer, thanking God for us being able to rise this morning to come here to pay our respects. We're not able to pull it. grand God, and we have this video. To Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Right. Thank, Amen. You. Thank you very much, Comrade Joe. Is there anybody else who would want to offer a word of prayer? No? Come on. Yeah. Great God and Master of the universe, yes. Yes. we come before thy holy presence. Oh, yes. We come on this ground that is holy and sanctified, yes. God, yes. as we are about to pray homage, O oh God, yes. not just to but all those that went before. Yes, Lord. But Lord, we are in a time in Trinidad and Tobago mm -hmm. where we call and we awake the spirit of the ancestors oh, yes. to give that warring spirit oh, yes. oh Heavenly Master. Oh, yes, Father, we remember Comrade Ansel George Jose. Oh, yes. Lord, you have put him at the hand for a reason and for a purpose. Oh, yes. You have anointed him from the crown of his head oh, to the sole of his feet. feet. Yes. Oh Heavenly Master, but today, oh God, I know today will be a turning point in Trinidad and Tobago. Oh, yes. But to Lord, we ask that you will shield him, yes. O Heavenly Master. Oh, yes. oh God, guard him, O Heavenly Master. Oh, yes, that yes. wicked men or temple yes. devil will come near him, yes, O Heavenly Master. Oh, yes. Father, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, oh, yes. but spiritual wickedness in high oh, places. Yes. And we pull on every stronghold oh, yes. that stand against the trade union oh, movement yes. today, O Heavenly Master. We pray, O oh God. That when we leave this place, yes, when we leave Pfizer oh, yes, yes, we will leave empowered, oh, yes, renewed, Lord. rejuvenated, mm. and on fire to take the battle for those who want to oppress the working class. Oh, yes. Yes. Amen. Grant us one spirit. Yes, In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 As we all stand here before you this morning, yes, Lord. I ask that you pour your blood, the blood of our Son Jesus Christ upon us. Yes, Lord. Lord. Protect us, O oh Lord. Save us from the jaws of the employers, oh God. Yes, Father, bless all of us here today yes, so that we will bond together and ensure that we stand for what is right yes, and that you will be the main focus of us. Father, I ask that you bless all of us, my brother here, who is the president of the United States, my sisters, and all of us here today. Yes, this I ask that you show us from Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 All right. When the voice is high, 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 high,
For Henry, President of the Steelworkers Union of Trinidad and Tobago, to make his short solidarity. Good morning, comrades. Good morning, comrades. As we stand here today, remembering the chief servant, we thank him for what he would have taught us. And that is, he taught us a fight. On this day, as we commemorate our leader, our past leader, <coughs> we thank him that we could face the oppressors today, knowing that victory is in unity. He taught us that. As we stand today, on this day, united going forward, we know that the employer class is taking advantage of us because of the situation, economical situation, but we shall not be moved. We shall not be moved because we know that we as the working class have the power to change things. And we must keep that uni unity going forward. We must be united in our efforts to ensure that we bring victory to the working class. And that victory will only come if we continue to stand in solidarity with one another's comrades. So this morning, this morning I pay tribute to the greatest leader in labor, and as Comrade Rose Schaefer, the leader of China and Tobago, and we thank him for what he would have taught us so that we could go forward in victory. Thank you very much, Comrade. Thank you very much, Comrade. Mr. Kula Robinson, second vice president of the China and Tobago Unified Association. Good morning, Comrade. Morning, morning. Tutor is here today because this is important and as teachers we know that history shapes the way forward and we have to learn from what our forefathers did, did for us to continue to fight. Labor has to be the balance, labor has to set the tone and what you allow is what will continue. So we have to discontinue what is being perpetrated on the working class of Trinidad and Tobago and today is that day when every worker in Trinidad and Tobago should be out here showing force and showing that we will not continue to be abused by persons that we have put in place to ensure that we are well cared for because we can't all sit up there but we all damn well could make sure that those who dare could do what is right for the workers of Trinidad and Tobago. So happy Labor Day to us and keep the strength, we are all one. Thank you very much sister. All right, I now call on Jeremy. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Good morning, comrades. Morning. 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 Yeah. Okay. Natasha yeah. All right. TTRA. And him. Natasha Natasha. No, 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 the position is TTRA. All right, we now call on a representative of the Trinidad and Tobago Registered Nurses Association. Good morning, comrades. Good morning. 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 I'd be like to be here at the replaying ceremony. I bring representation on behalf of the Trinidad and Tobago Registered Nurses Association. As we remember, Mr. Butler, <coughs> as the father of the labor, Comrade Butler, as the father of the labor movement, we want to say to workers today, please, please remember what they have done for us and to keep the struggle going because our work has not yet been finished and government after government continue to oppress workers, eroding their rights. So basically, this morning, we 
wish to say that we look forward to joining in the labor march this morning. Keep struggling, keep the fight up. Yes. Thank you very much, my sister. Secretary General of the Communication Workers yeah. Union, yeah. Comrade Kleider. Yeah. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Today, if you could vote, you thank the labor movement. Yeah. Yeah. If you go to school, you thank the labor movement. Yeah. For proper, but we need better health care, you thank the labor movement. Yeah. Yeah. If you have water home in your house, you thank the labor movement yeah. for that. Yeah. Yes. The point I'm making is that the labor movement was the movement responsible for where we are today as a country. I make no apologies for that yeah. whatsoever. Yeah. Had it not been for the labor movement, this country would have been about a hundred years backwards. Oh, yes. And today we, we meet here at the gravesite of Tubal Yabos Butler, the father of the nation. Yes. Despite what everybody else say, and despite what everybody else claim, the true father of the nation. Because without comrades like Butler, like Rienzi, like Thelma Williams, and all of those who fought in the past, we will not be standing here today and the position we are in today as a country. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And we pay homage to them. We just want to respect what they have done. To say, thank you all. Your work has not gone in vain. It has not gone unnoticed. And as long as there is breath in our body, as long as there is blood in our veins, as long as there is life, we will not forget the contribution of the labor movement. And we must not forget it. And I want to just say two things before I close. One, do not allow the young generation to understand and appreciate what labor means to this country. They are the ones coming up and they are the ones who have to take this thing forward. And I ask all of you to ensure that we involve all of the young people. And I'm heartened to see some young persons among us at this ceremony this morning. And let it continue. And the other thing I want to say is that as labor and as leaders, we must put aside all our petty differences and all the egos and all those who want to be in power and come together and unite as labor once and for all. Yes. Without that and with all this unity that we're seeking, the government will continue to run roughshod on us as well as the capitalists. But that and God face, I know they will never see. Because long live the Chinese movement, long live the working class of China. We go forever, backward never. Forever, backward never. Long live the Chinese movement. Thank you very much. All right. As we bring this very important reslaying ceremony where we are paying homage and respect, let me call to give us a short address. The president of the Banking Insurance and General Workers Union, Comrade Vincent Cabrera. Let's welcome the Cabrera. Comrade, good morning. Good morning, good morning Comrade. Good morning. Let me say a, a special welcome to, uh, good morning rather to the leader of the OW2, Comrade Roger. I am also seeing Comrade Pullman and Comrade Maraj. Comrades that I grew up with as a young boy, seeing them in struggle and so on. Because I speak to you not only as the president of a union, a trade union, but as the son of a oil worker and as the grandchild of a oil worker too. And I remember my grandfather telling me the days when oil workers used to have to tote long iron on the back yes. and go through jungle yes. to build this country. Yes. And today is a sad thing to yes. see when workers standing up for the rights, oil workers and other workers, you have somebody to call in in the radio and say they do this, they know what they're doing, yes. all this sort of thing. Yes. So we have to continue this struggle because Butler showed us the way. He showed us the way. He fought against colonialism, capitalism, exploitation, and all of that. And uh, But the point I want to make, I agree with my comrade, my comrade Elder. But there are, even in the days of Butler, there were some leaders that didn't come forward. Yes. And you will always have some leaders that oh, don't yes. come forward, didn't come forward. And I don't want to say more than that. I only want to say that Butler showed us the way and once we continue in that, that way, way yeah. we will yes. victory yes. will be ours. Yes. Thank you very much. The former general secretary of the office workers trade union. I don't go to call all, all of those things. But um, this morning, this morning, yes, in his capacity as the leader 
of the movement for social justice, the only political party that has labor at heart and will lead uh, in the interest of working people in this country. Let me ask Comrade David Abdullah. Good morning, comrades. Good morning, morning to Comrade Roger and all of the leaders of the labor movement here this morning, all comrades. Tuba Uriah Buzz Butler inspired a movement in 1937. And that movement was to bring about fundamental change in our country. And that movement resulted in many, many victories, many, many gains. And as comrades have said, we today are benefiting from those victories and those gains. But that revolution that started on June 19, 1937, right here in Faisabad, is not yet over. It is up to us to continue that revolutionary process and to complete what Butler and the others had started. In the same way that Moses led his people out of bondage, Moses did not take his people to the promised land. It was left to Joshua to go the next part of that journey into the promised land. Butler took us out of bondage, ended colonialism, resulted in independence, the formation of the trade union movement, and all of the gains that we have today. It is up to us to continue that revolution and bring about a new Trinidad and Tobago where those who labor hold the reins. Long live the spirit of Butler and the warrior workers of 1937. Thank you. Comrade Shiraz. Comrades, comrades, pleasant morning, comrades. Good morning. Morning to this awful day in the history of Trinidad and Tobago, comrades. A very important day for all of us as workers. Um, let me say, first of all, we always had to thank Oda Bitiwi and President Roger for being able to come here today because other people choose other places to celebrate this thing when this chief servant is here before us. In, not in, in, in body but in spirit and in his statue here. I will say that this is the body that we have to bond with and fight together because some of us have gotten too comfortable with the, the, the battles that the, our forefathers make in labor. We have gotten too comfortable by just paying our dues and hoping that the president will fix the damn thing yes. for us. Yes. It is too long that you have sat down and just only consider paying your dues and say, don't worry, I'm paying my dues for that. Comrades, brothers and sisters, let them know out there because the working, the, the, the one percent and the employer class looking for new ways to deal with us. Imagine economists tanking UTT for the strategy they use on OWTV and the workers. <laughs> Just imagine that, because a new system they put in place. So while they work in their brain and paying people to think about new things for us, we sit down here and say, PG and them, we pay reduce, them, that's why we suffering today. Yeah. And the last set of fools, Tiena man, the last set of fools, imagine the same trade union going to the dogs. Forgive me for one minute here, comrade. It's not that, it's dogs want to come in the trade union movement. Oh, you understand? It have a man who fire people because of their race in the last government. And this nastiness want to come now and form a trade union. What are we going to going to going to have a trade union movement in this split country? You understand? He form a trade union to fight for people and want to oppose order between you on their strategies. Hmm. Comrades, brothers and sisters, let the message go out. We can't only study to fight in OWTU or CWU or Big U. We have to talk to every damn body and wake up this country and support our PG of J2M to take this country forward and out of the doldrums of these wicked, two nasty set of people that have in government. Thank you very much, comrade. Sorry for being like that. Eh? I'm not fasting. Ramadan done. Fasting done. So I'll open up now. <laughs> Somebody go from your hand. I'll break it or no? I'll go from behind and put it on. Somebody from behind. I'll break it up. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see you know what to do. Exactly.
Yeah, no, I could just put this one. Put this one on the back side. Right. 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 Yeah, 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 y
And where is Comrade Kulu left? Where are you? With us at the cemetery. Left? All right. Comrade Kulman would have a lot to say, but um, at some other time, because we wouldn't have that time this morning. But let's recognize Comrade Kulman. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes, yes. All yeah. right. Yeah. 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 Let's get the idea, Comrade Kulman. Where is his hand? Come on. Come on.
inviting the presence of God, without Him nothing is possible. So you want to call to lead us off in prayer, Sister Joan Phillips, to bring us some prayers from the Christian community. Sister Phillips. in bread. Thank you, Comrade Elder, Comrade Leaders. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan al-rajim, bismillah ar-Rahman rahim I begin in the name of Allah, the most benign to send them as merciful, and I seek refuge from Satan the curse. O Creator of the heavens and the earth, we beg of you to continue to shower your mercy and your guidance on this gathering. Bless those who are gathered here today. Bless those who are present here today. Continue to give each and every one of your mercies and your blessing. Continue to protect them against the Satan. All the satanic ones, we all war. We all love we beg of you to continue to help each and every one to build their consciousness. a moment of silence in reverence and recognition of their contribution. We put a new government in power. And when we placed them into power, what we found happened was jobs were being attacked. TDC workers going home. Currently green workers going home. Government Human Resource Services Limited Workers gone home. And a number of other companies, workers gone home. UTT workers going home. And now they have set their sights on Petro Trin to send workers home. They have sent home workers from Astano Metal. And they have attacked directly our very livelihood. And why has this happened on one hand? On the other hand, murders increasing daily as if it's a medication dose increasing. Crime on the rise. And the politicians continue to live their life as his business as usual. When this Labor Day, we say it is not business as usual. We must secure jobs and protect our lives. It cannot be business as usual. And with that team in mind, we are gathered here today to send that powerful message to the powers that be to let them know that you must take your blasted hands off the working class. Yeah. And I don't care if you're UNC, if you're PNM, if you're NR, or if you're otherwise. We have one, one common uniting force, and that is that we all belong to the working class. We are all ordinary citizens of China to be here. All of us. And while some may try to divide us, 
from within and from without. They will come and they will fail. Just as all those who came and tried have failed, they too will fail. Because this trade union movement, we shall not be moved and we shall overcome because victory shall crown all efforts. Friends, I want to now invite the various leaders to bring us some very brief messages as we prepare to march from Avoca Junction into Faisabad this Labor Day 2018. So let me call on the Chief Labor Relations Officer of the National General and Sanitation Workers Union, Comrade Raj Ramkumar, sorry, Comrade Ramkumar Narayan Singh, to lead us in greetings from his union. Comrade Narayan Singh. Comrades, I bring to you today a message on behalf of the um, membership of Industrial General and Sanitation Workers Union. Comrades, supposedly there are three most important things that um, is uh, revered in the existence of human beings in Trinidad and Tobago and the world. Um, sex. And by this we create life. Property, by this we maintain life. And religion, by this we hope to continue life in another world. Comrades, why is it labor? Um, there's labor in all three aspects. I would like to talk to you today about our labor for property. We earn property by the sweat of our brow. We work for the means to procure that such property. And so it is through labor that society is able to maintain life. For example, through the labor of the teachers of the nation, the nation's children are educated. Through the labor of our tradesmen, our shelters are built. Through the labor of our industry workers, energy and utilities are provided. Through the labor of our farmers, we have healthy food to eat. Through the labor of our medical workers, the nation's sick is cared for. Through the labor of our armed forces, the nation is protected. And last, but by not at all any least, through the labor of 200 workers of swim ball, approximately 1 million people, garbage is managed and disposed of in Trinidad and Tobago. I want to pause here for a moment to add emphasis. Of approximately 640,000 workers in our nation, approximately 0.025% of that figure works in our nation's landfill. Not a quarter of a percent, comrade, but a quarter of a quarter of a percent that takes care of your waste. That means that if the entire nation's workforce was gathered here today, one person would represent that percentage of the workers that treat with the trail and to be goes at our landfills. We labor, what is the value? A work life of poor ages and poor working conditions and a retirement into ill health, dependency and destitution. That is what our, that awaits our workers that work in the landfill. We labor for all to exist and yet still, Labor is unappreciated and disrespected. So comrades, how are we to treat with this? We call on the working class to band together for what is its own. We call for innovative strategies, tactics and policies to be developed by unions for treating with the evolving landscape of employment and the impact of economical globalization. We call for union executives to treat, to use the collective bargaining forums to tactfully impose policy changes in the workplace, which is necessary for protecting the interests of the workforce as we meet head on the changing types of job security and employment availability in the country. Notwithstanding, comrades, 
the bottom line for achieving success in collective bargaining will always come down to the maximum support of union membership. We therefore call on union memberships everywhere to show its support for standing up in unison when the call is made for supporting the cause of labor. The consciousness, awareness and will of the nation's workforce will ultimately determine what is to be progressively achieved in the interest of all citizens of the nation. In closing, comrades, I want to send a stern warning to the detractors, the deceitfully disposed and the despots, some of which occupy the leadership positions in governance and business. There is a famous saying that originated in the 17th century from an unknown, unknown author in referring to the system of governance states that the voice of people is the voice of God. I say here today that the labor of the people is the labor of God. And if anyone endeavors to commit great sins against labor, then labor will be forced to bring forth the punishment of God upon them. In unity, we shall find strength. In perseverance, comrades, we shall come prosper. I thank you. Thank you, Comrade Narayan Singh, Comrade Paul, on the Trinidad Youth Council, and the President of the TYC, Comrade Sister Shani Swem, to bring us greetings. Good morning, fight the bad! I greet you from the Trinidad Youth Council. We are very grateful to be here today to be able to speak to you. International Youth Day is celebrated on August 12th, and the theme this year is Safe Spaces for Young People. Labor Day celebrations have always been a safe space for young people. Youth need a safe space where they can come together. I apologize. Where they can come together to engage in activities related to their universal needs and interests, participate in decision-making processes, and freely express themselves. And we are grateful to be able to be here and express ourselves and share what we are really passionate about. However, the workplace hasn't been such for many young people. The workplace hasn't always been a safe space, and it still isn't today. Young people face sexual exploitation, sexual harassment, and discrimination in the workplace. We had a recent example of pure discrimination against a young person. Nafisa Naked was one example of discrimination against a young person. How can we say that we are empowering young people when we take away their own basic rights, when we take away their identity, strip them of who they are, and say that we are empowering young people? Never! That cannot be so. We need to allow young people to express themselves no matter their age, gender, orientation. It doesn't matter. That is not our business. We need to support them, give them space for them to be who they are. Sexual harassment is also a huge problem in Trinidad and Tobago. Let's face it, young people are especially vulnerable. When you are the first person in an organization, how are you supposed to feel when your boss is telling you to do things that you know is a right? But you have no support, no support system, no one to turn to. What are you supposed to do? How are we empowering young people to stand up and say no, strike back? When it is the same person you're supposed to complain to, it's the same person that is harassing you. What are you supposed to do? We need to be able to give young people a voice to stand up, to speak out, to say what they feel, how are they being treated in the work environment. In an environment when a young person is going from contract to contract, two months, three months, six months, how are you supposed to feel secure? This is not a problem just for women. Let's not be confused. 
these things. And prepare for today. I was having a conversation with a friend, a man who had told me once that he was sexually harassed in the workplace. That his boss wanted him to have sexual favors with him in order for him to keep his job. And when telling him about today what I wanted to speak for, he scoffed at me. Because he couldn't believe a man, he couldn't believe that sexual harassment happened to men, but it happened to him. He told me about it before. He couldn't believe that it could happen. And that is why it's ingrained in our psyche. We need to be able to relearn, to learn new behaviors. Us both men and women that are able to support each other and support our young people. We, the Trinidad Youth Council, is asking for zero tolerance against sexual harassment in the workplace or in any environment. We need the government to speak out against these issues, not to protect the powerful, not to protect their own, but to speak out for young people, to give young people the benefit of the doubt, right? To support us when we say what happened, support them and give them a voice. We want there to be sexual harassment policies in every organization, big or small. It shouldn't matter if you, if you employ 10 or 10,000, it should not matter. Each organization needs to have policies to protect its employees, male and female, and let each employee know their rights and how they can speak out and how they will be supported. Thank you for it, Sabah. of the session is and of course from youth you get to the age of maturity call on one of the more mature labor leaders the head of the government industrial general workers union we call him driver comrade christian Kernarain, also known as driver Thank you, comrade. Good morning, Faisabad. Good morning, all workers. I might not be as powerful as I should be this morning. I'm not too well. I was forced to come down here by a few of my members. Comrade, today I will talk on treating. First of all, I heard the speaker before me talk about sexual harassment. Wow, that's nice. How many of you all know what is going on in the workplace? Yes, everybody. Everybody they say. Well, I don't think all you have the experience as me. There was a certain employer that used to sex his wife in all different pose fashion. On, on pool table, on couch, in the yard, and bring that film into the workplace where he had 40 women and two men working. 40 women and two men. How he does it, I don't know. But he will put it into the computer. And when these girls put on the computer, they would see the blues with their boss and his wife. The boss was a foreigner. Some of them liked it. Some didn't like it. And those who didn't like it complained. And what do you think he did? He finally asked, get out of my business. I'm an American. And the workers came to me. And I raised the matter. And when the matter reached the Ministry of Labor, you wouldn't believe it. Four people came into my office, beat me up, right 
to Riverside Plaza, my office right next to Riverside, beat me up. I remember three days in hospital. Right? Take all the files. And they went with it. They burned up the shops, the autos. They shoot me. Right? Luckily I'm alive. Luckily I'm alive. I don't know what went on. I keep going to the thing they call the Ministry of Labor. There are some of them behind us here. And I support certain people in the Ministry of Labor. But they are all of us at the bitches. concerning sexual harassment. I support that. And I will die supporting that. At 73 and 55 years I end this shit. Union is. 55 years! Okay? So I'll move away from that and go on to another matter. <laughs> A foreigner again, a Indian, contracts he came. He looked at the agreement, he signed the agreement, and he said, hey, you are uh, all you're getting too much here. Oh, what are you doing? He hired the people that would go down into the... So they filed something in the Ministry of Labor. I don't know what it is. He got to tell you a line. So change every single thing on a signed collective agreement. Everything. The Ministry of Labor calling me and saying, Mr. David, all right, what do you think we could do with this? Bullshit. <laughs> all you up there, all you know what all you have to tell the man. But all you wouldn't tell him that. Good, thank you. Right, there's a time, get out from here. And the last thing I'm going to say to you all is re retrenchment. How many remember 1984 and the above when they lick up over two, three, four thousand workers? I am being in a position right now where they let go about 15 or 20 of my workers. But they're going to let go 200 from Vimcot. All you know about that? Two of them are going to close them from Vimcot. But I always say, I am not going to go against UNC. I am not going to go against PNM. They're doing what they have to do. I am going to go against these fellas behind here. Because they are not doing enough.
Nigerian drums. Yeah. Having said that, let me call on the president of the Cipriani College of Labor and Corporate Studies, Gian, for my Kosian Fibek to bring us greetings. Could we, could we have, please, could we please? The accomplishments, both social and economic, of those that came before us. But today I come to talk on behalf of all tertiary education students. Yeah. Students that receive a service from administrators that are not always satisfied with the service that they receive. As the president of the Students Guild, I can stand and say yes, that Cipriani College co contributes significantly to labor movement in Trinidad and Tobago, whether it's by offering courses or promoting activities. As a matter of fact, recently they launched the Elma Francois Institute of Debate and Research, which focuses on current issues affecting labor. And I have no doubt that the information gathered from these debates will work towards implementing more policies that will help labor movement in Trinidad and Tobago. However, the student still is considering an expanded view of labor in Trinidad and Tobago. One that would move away from not just covering the interests of the working class, the workers, but those of the students that receive services from administrators, right? What happens is when we receive these goods and services, we are not adequately equipped to deal with the issues that us student bodies encounter with the college. So I am hoping that future labor, those behind me, future labor will consider labor movements morphing into one that will protect those that receive goods and services that will help the student body at Supriani College and all tertiary education in the future for any issues that they may face as students from all administrators. And let's move right along and let's call on the president of the Fire Services Association from a Leo Ramkisun to bring us greetings from the FSA. Come on Ramkisun. Good Labor Day 2018 to all the comrades. Right. Comrades, I bring you greetings from the Fire Service Association and to all the fire officers up at the back. Blessed good morning. Good morning all comrades. Comrades, allow me to highlight that by fire officers in this country risk their lives in the service of Trinidad and Tobago. Indeed, some have lost their lives in the service of the public. We note that with serious concern at our employer, those holding high political office has recently on several occasions publicly stated that settling our wage agreement for the 2011 to 2013 period, which was signed off in 2015, was a burden to the government left by the previous administration. The leader of government on more than one occasion spoke about settling our arrears as if it was a handout or a grant which was which has burdened the state. Comrades, you tell me yes or no. Is it a handout when we fight for and settle a wage agreement, especially for a period that has many years passed prior? No! We fire officers are asking, were we a burden when we cumulatively prevented property damage to the value of approximately $2 billion in 2015. What about in 2016, when we similarly prevented damages to the value of approximately $1 billion? Every year we saved the economy of Trinidad and Tobago hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars against damages. Are we burdensome then? Even more than this, what about the many lives that we have saved and rescued over the years? 
which you could never place a value on. Will we consider a burden then? No. Comrades, we think that it is important that our employer recognize the importance of the workers in the Trinidad and Tobago Fire Service at all times, even when discussing salary negotiations. And they will do well to stop describing officers of the protective services as burdensome when it comes to compensation. Our line minister, the Minister of National Security, has made several promises to the Fire Service Association when he came into office in 2015, which he has failed to fulfill. But there are two issues which he has failed to treat with that is of particularly troubling to us. That has to do with our retired officers and terms and conditions of employment for our auxiliary fire officers. We have many retired fire officers who have gone home many years now and are yet to receive a single pension payment. These retired officers have served in the fire service for decades in each instance and are rightfully entitled to payment of pension and gratuity but are being denied their payment based on a technicality which no state official seems to have the will to rectify, including Minister Dillon. We have gone as far as to bring these matters to the court, but while we wait for the legal process, those affected are dying off one by one. In respect of our auxiliary officers, the employer continues to use and abuse these workers and provide no terms and conditions of employment for them. So they enjoy none of the basic benefits and protection which normal workers in this country enjoy. While all this is happening, our line minister is ignoring our request for intervention. Not even a response, but God goes sleep. The retirees as well as the auxiliary officers will get justice and so you, Mr. Minister. So we fire officers are out here in numbers to voice our disgust. We are here in solidarity with all of you in the trade union movement. We have been here struggling with you yesterday. We are here to struggle with you today, Labor Day 2018. And we will be here to struggle with you in the trenches forever. Long live the Fire Service Association. Long live the Joint Trade Union Movement. And long live the movement for social justice in yeah, Trinidad and Tobago. Solidarity forever, comrades. Yeah. And leaders in this movement, the president of the Trinidad and Tobago Registered Nurses Association, Comrade yeah. Edith Scott. Injured. 
from a foreign city in Hong Kong. You know, I can't even tell you this. They're lying and there's nothing ready for sharing. And you know, so much sickly. So it's like the doctors lying, everybody lying, because they know, they just don't know that she didn't get touched. But you came with him. It's the audacity of the same man, it's not fair. I went to jail and went with him. To meet with him, I said, the most I am on is this. This man said, no, that's not my concern. I, I have to take more photos and stuff for the media. I, I, I can't focus on high nurses. So we have over 300 nurses awaiting employment right now. And he was short of, of staff. This brass face is this Minister of Health. This Minister of Health. When teacher Ali beseeched him to be in healthcare workers, for not only nursing, years of increments old. Years of increment. You don't ask me to do something. You just want me to pay what you already work for. You say that is not his concern. He closed his ears to our voice, turned his back on us, and shot his, <clears throat> shot his heart to our plate. But have no fear, Mr. Minister. Those whom the gods wish to destroy, first make man. Just like Therese Bottice Cornelius. And for a come before you, your day will come. Oh, yeah. Yes, Mr. Minister, your oh, yeah. day will come. What about the Minister of Education? Who will say education falls under? In 2017, there are a big, big incident in, in the nursing. There is a big allegation of fraud in the nursing council exams. Yeah? Where is the Minister? Minister, you must investigate this. You must investigate this. There are people who may have failed an exam and somebody changed the results of the exam. Look into this, investigate this. Minister of Health ignores. And the Minister of Education also ignores. So don't come and tell us that there are nurses not treating patients right when it's you responsible. We brought the information to you to treat with and you ignored us. So don't come and tell the association to deal with this. I'm over the junior education minister. Nursing students, you say they have easily thousand dollars a month. They know they stop it. They know this government stop that. You can imagine a thousand dollars a month just to go to school at Bonnie Ward, the minister stop it. But you too, minister, minister. You know, Proco, I have a lost Proco. I'm calling, calling the minister, you're not responding. Right to them, you're not responding. Call any office, you must respond. But Mr. Minister, what I wanted to tell you is to have a Merry Christmas. Yeah? I thought I was calling you for you. And to also let you know, your day too will come. And lastly, and most disappointingly, I want to deal with the Honorable Minister of Labour. And you know what he's crying. What about the heroes of the Labour movement? The Labour leader who led the PSA, well, when the PSA was in the PSA, led with strength and conviction. A champion for the working class. When I go to the Minister of Labour, that can see that she has given out, but they stop giving contracts, stop giving um, three year contracts for permanent. They started giving six months, one year. Now they stop giving contracts at all. They don't give any of your money. They ask your money, what can they get paid for today? Right to the Minister of Labour, who used to track her and walk the streets and he walk with her. And what she said, come on, I hope that is resolved quickly. I have received your concern, I hope that has resolved quickly. But Jenny, we were there for you. Where are you for in our time of need? What has happened to you, Jenny? Jenny, how can I brainwash you? Jenny, is that you? But have no fear, Jenny. Your day will come to. Come and see people. I said, no. Thank you for the stuff. Let me take time out now to call on the Prison Officers Association for my celebration. Good morning to everyone in the labor movement, all the working class people of Trinidad and Tobago. Greetings from the President and um, from the Prison Officers Association of Trinidad and Tobago. We are in absolute solidarity with the cause and the plight of the people in Trinidad and Tobago, the labor movement, the working class citizens. 
I just want you to, I'll be very short, sure, yeah. but you. I just want to cover one area. In Trinidad and Tobago, you have an uh, escalating crime situation. You have a proliferation of violent crimes, gun-related crimes, murder, um, rape, serious crime in Trinidad and Tobago. But let us examine some of the statistics as it regards to budgeting. Over the last 10 years, we would have budget in the vicinity, on average, six billion dollars per year on national security. <laughs> to get an appreciation of what six billion dollars is, six billion dollars is six thousand million dollars in Trinidad and Tobago. Over the past 10 years, that is on average the annual budget. Last year or year before, the budget was 10.2 billion, which was an anomaly over previous years. The reality is, what have we got, gotten for that type of expenditure? 10 years of 6,000 million dollars equals 60,000 million over a decade, not to mention the previous decades. But when you look at the protective services, where can you see that money? When you look at the police service and some of the issues that confront them, you ask the question, where all that money gone? You look at the military, you look at the prison service, you look at the fire service, you will hear Comrade Ramkishun talk about all of these issues that are plaguing the fire service and so on. You ask yourself the common question, where is all that expenditure? Where has it gone? Where has it gone? And you have to come up with one, one, one answer to that question. The business interest in crime. You see, the reality of the situation is, after spending $60,000 million, not a single prison establishment is up to standard. The Prison Officers Association has always been in the public domain, championing the cause of all of the issues plaguing officers in the service. We have a proliferation of issues involving sector safety, issues involving safety and security, issues involving updating and the lack of updating of infrastructure, issues involving almost every area in the prison service. But the government of Trinidad and Tobago, as do previous governments, will articulate to the population that they are trying. How can you spend 60,000 million dollars in 10 years and we are no better today than we are 10 years ago? As a matter of fact, the situation has gotten worse. They rather spend on a private entity $8 million a month on average to have prisoners commuted from prison to court every day trying to bomb down innocent citizens rather than spend the money, rather than spend that money where it is more useful. Where is the return on investment? Where is the viability of the undertaking? How can that money be accounted for? So after spending all that money, right, and I'll tell you this, crime is business and yes. crime has money. Yes. Only people who broken and don't have money to show faith in crime is those persons down below who are the facilitators of the opportunities for people to get rich. Yes. That is yes. the reality. Yes. That is it. So we have Carrera Convict Prison totally run down. Sometimes I'm afraid to go Carrera because my colleagues are crying out. No water, no electricity dilapidated infrastructure, not even a vessel to go Carrera, not even a structure so that officers can properly um, assemble before trans um, being transported to the island. When you look at the maximum security prison goal and go, our largest establishment, the establishment that has become our main establishment treated with humanities, officers are continuously complaining about all the workplace issues that are confronting them. We have been begging, begging, literally, and you all will be our witness, because you all will have been listening to the media. We would have been begging for a proper alarm system. Imagine that 
a proper alarm system at the maximum security prison will only cost the state $4.5 million. And we have been complaining, complaining way back since 2013. We are in 2018. Six billion dollars a year. And the game's continuing. The game's continuing. When you look at Tobago, do you believe that Tobago prison is falling in the sea? Just now you might wake up, hear some little storm in Tobago. Officers, inmates, infrastructure, everything in the ocean. That's the reality. Lands were allocated for some time now and today. No indication from the state as to what is going to happen next year. When you look at Golden Grove Reman, across the nation prisons, where was that money spent? Who is responsible for those large budgets and who is equally responsible for those large budgets not reaching the places they're supposed to reach? Because prison exists for you, the citizens. We work in order to make you safe, but we are unable to because we are not given the opportunity to deployment of revenue to treat with or arm the citizens' safety and security. Well, much more can be said, but I'm going to just stop at that point. I want you all to really think about what I'm saying. The reality is, too many games. Too many games, and the business class is who are reaping all of the rewards. And the only rewards reaped by the citizens of Trinidad and Tobago is walking the streets in a very unsafe, unsecure, and crime-polluted nation. That is your reward, right? So I won't, I got a time, a time check there. So I'm going to stop there. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Prison Officers Association of Trinidad and Tobago, I thank you. Thank you, Commander Richards. We're ready to Can walk we call on one of the newer presidents in the trade union movement and a president who leads the category of workers who is responsible for you being able to read I mean, invite to the podium the president of the Trinidad and Tobago Unified Teachers Association, Mr. Lindsay Dunai. Good morning, Faisabad. Good morning, Faisabad. I bring you solidarity greetings on behalf of the teachers of Trinidad and Tobago, and more so the 14,000 members of the Trinidad and Tobago Unified Teachers Association. As teachers gather here for Labor Day 2018, uppermost in our minds is salary negotiations for our teachers. Salary negotiations for the period 2014-2017. It has been almost three years now that Tuta has submitted proposals for a new collective agreement for the period 2014-2017 to the Chief Postal Officer. Despite many attempts to kickstart these negotiations, there has been little success in doing so. Almost three years later, Tuta continues to wait for the CPO to respond to our proposals. In that three years, food prices have gone up 